Oh, hey there. <laughs> Happy holidays, it's me, Slay by Jordan. All right, y'all. The company we'll be working with today is Curls Queen. Curls Queen sent over their light yakky 26 inch seamless weft clippings. This one bundle set is enough for a full head. As you can see, the texture has a little bit of kink to it, so it's perfect for blending with the natural and relaxed hair. So here today we are with Nisha. She is freshly silk pressed. I also colored her hair jet black off camera. I'm just showing you now that she has no extensions in her head. This is all her hair. And we're about to start the clip-in process. I also did color the clip-ins jet black off camera just for a seamless blend. Today we'll be doing this half up, half down hairstyle with the two pieces in the front. Shout out to You Love Megs on YouTube. She inspired this look. And today I'm going to show you how you can get a creative look with clip-ins and it blends seamlessly. So let's get started. So what I'm doing first is just separating out the front part. All of this in the back will be hanging down. The rest will be put up. So right now we're just going to focus on the back. We're going to drop down a section and we're going to measure it to see which clip-in will work best for it. So in your packaging, you will get four two-clip clip-ins. You'll get two three-clip clip-ins. You'll get two four-clip clip-ins. And you'll get two five-clip clip-ins. So for this first row, we'll be using a three-clip clip-in. As you can see, I do a little back combing at the root, apply a little flexible whole hairspray, and I just clip the clip-in onto the hair. And I love the seamless weft clip-ins because they lay so flat and they're very undetectable. They almost, they actually look like tape-ins except for they have a clip on them. And I love that. They lay way more flatter than your classic um, clip-ins. So definitely get the seamless weft clip-ins. And as you can see, the hair is very secure. It's not going anywhere. Now I'm going to drop down another one inch section and we're going to measure and see which clip-in we're going to use for this one. For this second one, we'll be using a four clip clip in. And we're just going to keep dropping down one inch sections. Make sure that you measure the section first to see which clip clip in would be best for you because each row is different. Once you get to the top, go ahead and part out your leave out so you don't clip any clippings too far up to where you don't have enough hair to cover. So I do the same method as with my tape-ins or my micro links. You're just going to lay the rat tail comb right on the scalp and pull the hair over. If you don't see the rat tail part, then you're good to go. If you see the rat tail part, you need some more hair. So once you clip your leave out the way, continue with your clip-in install. For this row, I'll be using the two-clip clip-in. And for my last clip, I'll be using a three-clip clip-in off camera. 
we are now fully done with the back section as you can see it lays super flat that is due to those seamless buff clippings from curls queen so now we're going to part out our front two pieces these are going to hang in the front and i'm going to show you a little trick on how to do these as well but for right now we just want to part those out the way and clip those up so now this section of hair right here is the part that we'll be pulling up into the high ponytail it'll be the half up part of this half up half down style i'm going to show you how you can place your clippings to add length and fullness to your half up part of your hairstyle as well so right here you see i'm taking a five clip clip in and i'm cutting it down to a three clip clip in your clippings are versatile you can customize them to your head you can cut them you can do whatever as you can see i'm laying that clip in regular how i did in the back so when i pull it up it lays very flat i'm also going to part down one more row and add one more clip in to this half up part i'm going to take another five clip clip in i'm going to cut it down to a three clip clip in and i want to clip it in the hair as regular we are done clipping in the extensions for the half up part so now we're going to pull it into a ponytail At first, I'm just going to use my Sebastian Shaper Plus hairspray just to get the hair in the foundation that I want. I'm going to put it in the ponytail firstly. And then once I get it in the position that I want, I'm going to go in with some high hole hairspray just to make sure everything is smooth and flat. And redo the ponytail to make sure everything is secure and neat as possible. I'm going to quickly run the flat iron through this half up part just to make sure that my knot is smooth and not super frizzy. So you're going to twist the ponytail like an ice cream bun, but you're going to leave some of the ends out and you're going to secure it again with another rubber band. Now I'm going to quickly press out the back of her hair. You. 
So now we're going to focus on the front two pieces. So instead of doing your traditional middle part, we're going to do a slanted part. And I'm going to show you how you can add fullness to your front pieces. So I'm going to take a two clip clip in, cut it in half. So now we're going to have a one clip clip in. I'm going to add that to each side of the front two pieces to add length and fullness. And you will see easily how they blend perfectly. Look at that. Can't even see the clip in. And I'm also going to give it a quick press just to make sure that everything is blending. And to give it a more natural look, I'm going to take my razor comb and cut these front two pieces into a layer. And after giving those front two pieces a slight bump, we're going to take some hairspray onto those little ends on the top knot that we left out. And we're just going to bevel our flat iron up, like turn it up so the hair can be lifted and give that little... 2000s Y2K vibes and after that we're just gonna spray some sheen spray and we're gonna be done with the style also you can spray spritz to make sure that you know your your little hump stay in place and blow dry <laughs> but we are now done look at these clippings y'all they look so natural like yes let's get into it and now it's time for the final look, but I'm gonna show you the before as well. Make sure you check the description box below for more information on how to purchase your seamless wealth clippings from Curls Queens. I thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Happy holidays.